What happens when a superhero known for their formidable strength and intimidating presence decides to go into a prison to aid their friend's escape? Well, you are about to find out. Because some time ago, a criminal known as Heat Wave attempted to harness the power of a superhero named Firestorm. Jason! Burn, baby! Burn! I've had my eye on you for a long time. See, I like fire, the way it looks, the way it smells. But you, you are fire. And seeing as you're now short a partner, what you say we get our Firestorm on? Are you crazy? That's not how it works. Really? Then we got a problem. Yeah, we do, you lunatic. You killed my friend for nothing. No, I meant you better figure this out before I burn you like a ballpark Frank! But then... <laughs> Last time I checked, murder gets you the chair. Cyborg. Didn't your mommy ever tell you not to play with matches, Heat Wave? Sure did. So I burned her to death. But as much as I'd like to keep yapping, I think you have a train to catch. No! Heat Wave ignites a train full of people, but Cyborg swiftly extinguishes the flames. He then attempts to halt the train due to its excessive speed. And that causes another fire. Are you kidding me? But Cyborg manages to save all the passengers. Can this day get any freaking worse? And that's when Heat Wave manages to accidentally set himself on fire. After that, he was sent to Queens Row Penitentiary, a floating prison in South Carolina, where he is now on death row awaiting execution. Like a bad movie on cable, that day keeps playing over and over again in my head. A constant reminder how I got here. Cyborg, that tomato can ruined everything. Sent me to the row with the stink of new fish on me. Now every two-bit thug trying to make his bones in here take a shot at me. But I'm an old rounder, and I know what it takes to get by. Just a spark. Heatwave sets a fellow inmate on fire, but then a colossal metal figure grabs him and... Anybody gets out of line and super guard here lays down the hammer. Word on the yard is he's a robot. Which makes sense because his eyes are dark, dead, lifeless. But I see someone behind those eyes. Amazo the Super Guard places Heatwave in solitary confinement. Inside, Heatwave begins to intimidate the guards and reveals to us that the prison is divided into two groups. Beings with special powers, metas, and those without, non-metas. The individuals with powers wear necklaces that diminish their abilities while those without powers lose their weapons and gadgets. A prison guard comes to Heatwave's prison cell and explains to him that, according to federal law, they can't keep him in solitary confinement today because he's about to be executed soon. So, they let him go. Following that, Heatwave is seen walking through the prison, inspecting each room. Eventually, he encounters a friend who is a newcomer to the prison. Heatwave. Clue Master, you made it. Yeah, but we got a problem. See, you made some friends already. New fish belongs to me! Is that a fact? Yeah! See, my old punk took a dirt nap! So I need a new squeeze! Listen up, Chicken Hawk! I've had a bad day already! Heatwave effortlessly defeats him, and he, along with Clue Master, go to his cell. But then we find out something horrific. When I got in here, I decided the only way to survive was to have a goal. You might call it revenge, but it's more than that. Who the hell are you talking to? I call it hunger. Man, is it hot in here? I'm burning up. And my gut is starting to really cramp up. Hunger to taste the inferno. Hunger to touch the ultimate fire. But, but that piece of scrap metal got in my way. And you, you my friend, are going to help me get out of here and do just that. Okay, you ready to blow this popsicle stand? It's Plastic Man. With no time to waste, Plastic Man and Heat Wave start recruiting more people. Your boss is cooked. Follow my lead, and we'll all get sprung from this joint. And what if we don't want to follow you? Plastic Man then turns himself into barbed wire and... 
Okay, okay, we are with you. Just call off your Plastic Man. What did you call me? He hates being called Plastic Man because it reminds him of the monster he's become. After assembling a big team, they initiate their jailbreak plan. Plastic Man devours all the cameras while the rest dash towards freedom. However, their path takes an unexpected turn when they encounter... Where you think you are going? The Meta Gang. Only thing keeping them in line is those leech collars. Heatwave starts accusing Atomic Skull of working with the guards to keep everyone in check. But that's when Skull gets mad and instructs a superhero named Animal Man to attack Heatwave and threatens him that if he won't, he will be killed by other Metas. Buddy Baker, alias Animal Man, a soup's accused of killing his family. Word is he's innocent. Sorry, Firebug. But I'm fighting for my life! Heatwave knocks down Animal Man, but that's when Atomic Skull decides to take his collar off, giving him his powers back. I wish this could be different, but Jail has a way of changing a man. Making him something he despises. See, I don't belong here. With scum like you, I am a hero. I can tap into any animal power in the world. And what can you do besides play with matches? There is one animal you forgot, more dangerous than any. Oh yeah? Which one is that? Man! Heatwave then grabs him by the hair. Please, I am innocent. Drags him to a curb, instructs him to bite it, and then... While others grab Atomic Skull... But then the super guard Amazo shows up and starts killing every prisoner he sees. But Plastic Man and Heatwave manage to quickly outsmart him. Let's see who's really driving the bus! And then we find out who's really controlling the robot. I got him! The Atom? Congratulations, but you're still locked in a flying prison. How far do you think I can throw him? Hang on. Heatwave begins interrogating Adam demanding information on the whereabouts of all confiscated weapons. Well, Merry Christmas! Following that, Heatwave insists that Adam disclose the location of a key, as it would allow him to unlock the collars of all the metas. After Adam disagrees, Heatwave responds by simply squishing his head. Heatwave puts on his suit, but then something unexpected happens. Finally, now let's get out of here before the Air Force shows up. Patience. I still have some loose ends to tie up. Loose ends? We've beaten everyone, taken over the prison, and got your weapons back. Time to roll. I may owe you, but not enough to get caught. Heatwave ignores Plastic Man, so Plastic Man chooses to go after him. I don't care how far we go back. This is just plain... <laughs> Suicidal? Heatwave? Buddy, I don't see a landing strip. Sure you do. The entire city. Detroit. Cyborg City. Now it's going to burn like he burned me. Heatwave decides to crash the prison into Detroit. But that's when Plastic Man... Look, I don't like the Tin Man any more than the next guy. But to wipe out an entire city? That's going a little too far, don't you think? No. What I think is someone's getting a little soft in their old age, Eel. Maybe so. But innocent bystanders is where I draw the line. Didn't know there was one. Yup. And you just crossed it. So what now? Stop the ship, or I stop you. Wow, you almost sounded like a hero there. Far from it. Just not a cold, psychotic killer. Guess this means we're not BFFs anymore. And that's when Heatwave and Plastic Man decide to end this. These guys are the best you could do? Everyone knows Lockup is blind as a bat. Sportsmaster has no heart. I knew they would be no match for you, Eel. I just needed you to be distracted long enough to take you down. Heatwave manages to burn Plastic Man, but that's when Cyborg notices the flying prison. He instantly realizes that the prison is about to crash into Detroit, so he alerts all the citizens, and then... Heatwave! You take from me, freak! 
Well, now you are gonna feel my fire! Cyborg uses some kind of device to misdirect the prison, but that's when... Gotta get this piece of junk in the river. Only way to do that is guide it in myself. Funny. Always thought an Amazon or an Atlantean would be my end. Never heat wave. Welcome to the future, boys. Hell, fire, and mayhem at your service. But that crash killed and injured half the row. The strong survived. Now we get to enjoy the spoils of our work. With Cyborg finally gone, we can burn this place to the ground! Who's with me? Not so fast. You don't know when to die, do you? Not while the likes of you are walking my streets. Heatwave chooses not to kill Cyborg for a while, because he wants Cyborg to witness the destruction of his city, Detroit. But Cyborg simply calls him. You coward! What? You are afraid you can't finish the job. Bury me once and for all. Even though I'm busted up, I'm still more of a man than you. Shut up! Why don't you make me? You want a street fight? You got it, hero boy! You made me damaged goods! Took away my smell, feel, and taste! And all I had left was the very thing that fuels me! Hate! Heatwave attempts to strike Cyborg once more, but in a sudden turn of events... What the hell? Cyborg gains control over his arm and seizes Heatwave by the throat. He then breaks his gun and... Knocks him down. I was offline before. I am not anymore. He's bluffing! Get him! You lose, Heatwave. No. Look what I did to your city. What I did to you. We'll rebuild, Heatwave. The city and I will be stronger than ever. Mark my words. Did I win? I sure as hell didn't lose. You got a new silly hotshot. I hurt him like no one ever has before. And for that, I will burn in his mind forever. He's mad at you, you know. So very mad. I don't care what Cyborg thinks, he's... No, not him. Not Cyborg. Too bad I won't be able to enjoy it. Like I told you, in here everything comes with a price. And sooner or later, everyone gets what they got coming to them. 